All right, everybody. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Friday Night Sports Extra High School Basketball Style. Yeah. Now, I'm Derek Dice. And I'm Ben Kaplan. we got a whole lot of hoops to bring your way. And we start in the GSL. By the way, I want to mention this guy was very busy tonight. I sent him <laughs> to five, count them, five games. The Ferris boys ranked number three in the state. We're at Central Valley tonight. And you know, everybody goes crazy for a free t-shirt. Taylor Kamitomo had himself a huge game. The big fella drains a long jumper. He poured in a game high 30 points. Then Jordan Tanani gives it up, gets it back, and that's in the face, in the face. <laughs> Saxon's up 16 in the third. Final seconds of the quarter, Gavin DeArmond hits the ridiculous off-balance jumper. He's also a quarterback, by the way, but this one is all Ferris, 81-58. They're now 12-1. and one. Where's my T-shirt? Gonzaga <laughs> women's head coach Kelly Gray is watching the Bullpup boys trying to keep pace in the GSL race. Meets Garrett Swanson, the J in the lane. He had 17. Panthers up two. Pups on a run. Steven Ferraro's chasing waterfalls. It's 5-2 visitors. Me now down four. Forrest Baker, the smooth baseline jumper. He had four points, but prep too tough. Ferraro, the nice look inside to Parker Kelly, who weighs it in. He had a game high 22 pups. Now 10 and 2 in league with a 14 point win. All right, let's go back out to the valley where the U High Titans were taking on NC. First quarter action, Jared Miller gets it to Zach Martin. I didn't hear him call bank. But it's all good. Martin with 10 points. Then check out Chase McDuffie dropping a dime to a cut and gunner Swagger, which is an awesome name, by the way. 17 for Swagger. But the Titans were too much. Jared Miller dials long distance for three of his 19. I like that kid's game. U High is 11 and 2 after a 64-58 win. And other GSL boys acting tonight. How about Lewis and Clark going to Shadle and pulling out a 15-point win? And Rogers, a five-point winner at Mount Spokane tonight. Ben. All right, to the girls' side now, where Gonzaga Prep was trying to stay undefeated in GSL play against a feisty Mead team playing at home. Panthers senior Taylor Ingerbritson's got game three. Me, the home team raced out to a 9-2 lead. Then Ingerbritson again. She's like, I want more in this highlight. She had 22 points. Meet up 11-5. The pups would come back. Lindsay Stockton, the blow by then gets the bounce. Mm. She had nine. It's a two-point contest, but Mead would answer. Jade Redmond spin cycle and bucket. Prep loses for the first time in league play, 52-42. Big win for me. Shadow yeah. Park hosting LC. The Highlanders and Tigers tied for second place coming in. Julia Moravec with the bucket on the break for LC, but they've really missed Nakia Arquette in the lineup. Highlanders coming right back the other way now. Casey Hurt keeps control and drops in the land. This one would stay close throughout. Alicia Hathaway, she's got big time game, and she shows it here with the pull up in the paint. Shadow wins this one in overtime, 60-55, to the final. All right, the CV boys supporting the girls as they take on Ferris. The Saxons, Haley Sieverding to Jaws Hicks, who hits the three. Ferris up three early. CV's turn. Mariah Cunningham feeds Brock. Brooke Galloway, she finds Nylon. Saxons lead is down to two. Then the Bears take the lead. Galloway shares this time to Katie Esty. Three me. Bears go on to win it. 74 64. So GSL scores to pass along. NC 56 53 winners over U High. And Mount Spokane, 64-39 over Rogers. All right, now, of course, there was plenty of action yes. outside the GSL. And we start in the Great Northern League, where the Pullman Greyhounds paid a visit to the Medical Lake Cardinals in a chess match between the coaches. But the Greyhounds came out firing in this one. Brady Barrett, he's all jacked up on Mountain Dew. The trifecta <laughs> makes it 5 nothing Pullman early. Then it's Brennan Ball throwing the alley-oop to Brett Pinkleton. He doesn't dunk it, but it counts for two just the same. The card swinging around to Kevin Fisher for three of his game-high 24, but it's not enough. Pullman wins this one on the road, 65 to 46. Same two schools in the girls' game. This Packers fan ready for Sunday's big game. Shelby Cheslick will play for Gonzaga next year, and here's why Cheslick with a game high 25. Kelly Graves can't wait to have her. That's two Kelly Graves references. Pullman on the break again. This time Tessa Nelson doing the honors. The Greyhounds with a 19-point lead at that point, but apparently the bank stays open late in Medical Lake. If your oh, name is snap. Darby Evans, still Pullman wins big, 61-42. They're six and one. In league. All right, so we stay in the GNL as West Valley was at Deer Park. Drew Sanchez, no from long range. Hannah Love, no from up close. <laughs> Mallory Schessler, yes, the Eagles up three in the third. Love would make up for her miss a lot. The lay in for two of her 17 points. It's a five point game. Deer Park Stags keeping it close. <laughs> Tessa Hines, the long two. She had a game high 18, but Dub V stays a game behind Pullman in the GSL standings with the eight point win. Freeman undefeated in Northeast A, hosting Chawila. 
Nice dance Whoa. moves there. The Scotties, Mackenzie Taylor to Katie Vold. The hoop and the harm. Home team up in this one by 30. Then Alyssa Main, the main threat here, keeps it herself. The lead continues to grow. Chawila played hard. Brittany Wusthoff to Arlie Coleman. She'll find nylon. This one, though, a tad lopsided. Scotty's 15 to 1 and 1 on the season. The Northwest Christian Band and Boys Basketball Team making sweet music against Springdale. Austin Friedley, the nice feed to Quinn Hansen, who lays it in. He had 13. NWC up 19. Chargers hanging in there, though. Rodney Abrahamson looks inside to Connor Parker. It's a 15-point game for the, Crus the Crusaders. Had long-range game. Cole Ramey, three of his 12. The Nick Caracas raindrops. NWC wins it by 18. They're now 10-0 in league play. Got a feeling we might be seeing them in the Spokane Arena then. I think we uh, usually do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, now don't go away. We'll be back in 155 seconds with highlights from Whitworth, the Chiefs, and some college football news from both the Huskies and the Cougars. Start counting now. <laughs>